wale pasta wengine waendelee upande huu yeye ndio anatupasta kwa upande huu na niliposikia habari ya kupoteza kijana yake nilihusunika sana na kwa niaba yangu na familia yangu nataka nitoe risala za rambi rambi na pole kwa ndugu yetu mheshimiwa Cherorot kwa kumpoteza Vincent Vincent kama vile tumesoma amesoma akaitimu akawa wakili na tena pia yeye ni fastball uliona kwa nini nilisisitiza ya kwamba mawakili wapewe nafasi e, Vincent akukana sisi sana wanasiasa alikaa sana na mawakili na alifanya kazi pamoja under uh, uh, LSK's uh, leadership na mawakili wengine na akafanya kazi ukipata wakili mwenye anafanya practice your excellency kwa mambo ya tax law we don't have first vile Hillary amesema hatuna mawakili sana kwa sehemu hii ya hii, hii bonde la ufa yote tumekuwa tukijadiliana tukiuliza ni kwa nini hiyo ni one of the professions yenye tuko na watu wachache ukisembea hapa kipsigi hapa utapata ma engineers wengi lakini mawakili ni kama siku za moi ni kama kwa sababu tulikuwa serikali na mawakili walikuwa wanapika makelele wengi nikawa watu wengi walikuwa wanasema msipeleke watoto yetu kwa mawakili hiyo ni wale wa kupika kelele wa opposition so unapata we are very few lawyers in fact i used to teach law school and uh, i know it is now this generation ya Vincent ndio tumepata kuanza kupata mawakili and i want to say congratulations to mama Lili na mheshimiwa Joseph kwa ku bring up their child he has lived 39 very um, very fruitful years and impacted lives and i want to say pole to the wife and pray that god will give you the strength with your daughter to go through this very difficult time kama vile bishop amesema kwa hapa uh, there is a preacher alisema um, alisema we will all die it's just a question of time and in fact dying early that does not mean more people have died because everybody will die anyway so we go today we go tomorrow we go after 50 years we go after 70 years what is important in life kitu ya maana zaidi kwa maisha ni kwamba ukienda leo ama uende kesho ama uende kesho kutwa ni nini utakuwa umewacha like the song says yei geske poishen akanyo amutoli ako Bishop amenipeleka kwa another paragraph sasa ameni confuse yeah kazi yangu ikisha na miniki okoka na kuva kutokuwa ribika nitamwona mwokozi wa rehema na pendo alieni papa hali mbinguni nitamjua nitamjua kwa ona uso kwa uso nitamjua nitamjua kwa la mazami sumari so despite all these things we are doing hii ukubwa yote hii maringo yote tuko nayo hii kuvae tunavaa sijui namna gani what is the most important thing is when you appear before god what will you take and that's why i keep saying kama sisi wanasiasa tumepewa nafasi ama viongozi tumepewa nafasi kama vile biblia inasema kwa matayo kwamba ukifika huko unaambiwa i was thirst ulinitengenezea njia ya kupata maji i was hungry mlifanya fertilizer subsidy wewe rigiji ukasuguma subsidy ya fertilizer Mungu anakuambia karibu mwanangu wakati ulikuwa dunia ulipambania watu unaona mazao ikakuwa mzuri wakapata chakula unaambiwa wewe mimi nilikuwa na shida nafanya makosa kweli nikafungwa kweli lakini huku sema nipotee nikiwa huko jela mlitengeneza ukiwa waziri wa interior mkaunda jela ikae mzuri ndio mimi pia niweze nikaona uzuri wa Mungu huko nikingojea kwenda mbinguni so the bible gives us a foundation inatupatia foundation alafu sasa iseme hiyo watu walikuwa wanangangana shida ilikuwa mingi hawakuwa nafika hata soko 
ನಾವು ಈ ಮೂರು 